Hey Chase, thanks for getting this video back to me so quick. Uh, this is great. Um, so it looks like you're back in the cage at your house, which again, that is awesome. If you have one, uh, you should be able to get a lot of work in. So I'm excited to work with you because you got the setup already ready to go and uh, we should really be able to use this time. So this is great. So let's take a look again at a couple of the things that we looked at last time. And I can tell you right off the bat, one of these things you made a drastic change in. And let's take a look. So let's watch you over here on your left. And let's look at the step going that direction. And let's look at the first time you did it as we go forward. Here we go. And as you get into your swing. Takes a second. You were talking to your dad the last time. Here we go. And as you step here, Chase, you go in that direction. So already huge improvements there, right, Chase? That's exactly what we want to see is we want to see the step in that direction. Now, as we go forward here on the right, I want you to watch. Let's go here. Watch right there. There we go. As your foot strikes, look how low your hands are, and you drag across the zone. All right, so now I'm going to take these off. Now I want to watch here, see if we get much change. Now let's go on the right heel strike. Heel strike striking right there. And again, look how low your hands are. So I'm going to talk to you about a quick concept. I don't want this to go, to, go on too long, but it's called hand-hip separation. So if we go back to the one you're giving me today, first of all, good front step. Now, as your heel strikes, your hands should still be up there, Chase. Right? They should be coiled up, and then you should release your hands across. It's going to create, that separation is going to create torque, and it's going to help you create bat speed. So in both cases, what happens here is your initial heel strike, your bat ends up being how flat that bat is. I can't draw my arrow backwards, but it's very flat instead of up in that curl position, and it creates a leading elbow here. It's actually better. It's actually worse in your initial swing, but there it is still dropping, and it's still sweeping across the zone. So what we want to do, Chase, is when you do this next time, we want you to keep that front step just like you did, so continue on with that. Get a lot of reps doing that. And, and just make your, your muscle memory make that step. But then when that heel strikes, we want to make sure that your hands are still up and that they're separated from your hips before you start. Don't drop your hands. All right? So, hey, great work. We're going to piece this together one thing at a time, and then we're going to keep working at this until we all get back outside, and then you're going to be a better baseball player next time I see you, and we'll talk about some of these things that you've corrected and make sure we're still reinforcing it. All right? Thanks for sending the video, man. Can't wait to work work with you a little bit more, and uh, hope you get some more work in this week. Talk to you soon.